Thank you so much for putting together this evening, giving us a reason to celebrate you too while seeing friends and relatives that we haven't for too long. In the immortal words of Fat Boy Slim, <laughs> right about now, the Funk Soul Brother. <laughs> Check it out now, the Funk Soul Brother. <laughs> Matthew, you are that Funk Soul Brother. <laughs> We all might remember that time a few years ago when Matthew, still a college student, pledged that he was giving up his pursuit of economics and computer science to instead run away to Spain and become a child of the dance. <laughs> While the news was shocking in some ways, it wasn't totally out of, out of the blue. He had, in fact, been part of hip-hop dance troops as a youngster. <laughs> Matthew, I don't need to tell you, stand up here and tell you how disappointed I am that you didn't become a dancer. I already tell you that every day. But folks should also know all the other things you've been. A teacher, a statistician, a coder, an activist, a columnist, and above all, a billboard chart-topping musical artist. All that aside from being one of the smartest, most caring, most thoughtful people I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. Haley, only you could be a match for my brother's proliferous mind and explorative spirit. You are every bit as intelligent and as creative as he is, and I know you will be there for each other through thick and thin. It has been great getting to know you, meeting your family, and having you join ours. One thing the three of us share is a respect for the culinary arts. We fall into a school of thought that was crafted by a luminary philosopher, Chef John, of the YouTube <laughs> channel Food Wishes. Were he alive today, I'm sure he would tell both of you that it's up to you. You are the Sylvester Stallone of your provolone. You are the Louis Vuitton of your blue cheese crouton. And you are the Nigel Farage of a beautiful marriage. Thank you so much. Uh, love you guys.